Hello boys and girls, today is Tuesday, May 4th, 2020, and welcome to Wit and Wisdom. Today you will need a pencil and your blue book. Like always, Miss Osa's Wednesday Challenge is to take a picture with your favorite toy. If you cannot take a picture, just comment down on our team's page on Wednesday what your favorite toy is. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. What lesson are we doing today? Get ready. 30. We are almost done with the lesson, guys. I cannot believe it. Module 4 and you guys have been so, so good throughout the whole year. I know you guys are getting brighter and brighter every day. So let's go ahead and get started with our lesson. Our big essential question is, why do people around the world admire Cinderella? That's the big question that you guys are going to need to answer for your end of module task. Now let's go ahead and content our content framing question. What do we need to know by the end of today? Let's go ahead and echo read that. It says, what is the deeper exploration of the illustrations reveal in glass slipper gold sandal? Yes. So what is the deeper exploration of the illustrations reveal in glass slipper gold sandal? Now, in our previous lesson, we analyzed this famous artwork. The artwork is titled First Steps. The artist's name is Pablo Picasso. He is a very famous artist from Spain. This painting was created 85 years after Millet's painting and 50 years after Van Gogh's version. So remember the First Steps artwork that we saw in class when, when the, the family was in the farm and the baby was taking their first steps. This is Pablo Picasso's version of that artwork. Now, what types of line and colors have we discuss, discussed in previous modules? Abstract lines, like very straight lines. We've also discussed very light colors, bright colors, primary colors. Good. Now, we have learned about primary and complementary colors. We have also discussed horizontal and vertical lines. How would you describe Picasso's use of color here? Look at his color. Look at the picture. What, how would you describe it? Very like dark. He didn't use a lot of colors. What about his use of lines? We see very vertical ones, horizontal ones. There's not a lot of like squiggly ones. They're all straight. Yes, good job, boys and girls. Good observations. Now, our content framing question What is the deeper exploration of the illustrations reveal in glass slipper gold sandal? What types of lines do you see on the book of our, uh, on the cover of our book, Glass Slipper Gold Sandal? And look at our book. What type of lines do you see? We see like zigzag lines. There's a lot going on, right? Swirly. Good. Now today we'll learn why the author uses different lines and patterns in this test. Let's read some of the information about the illustrator to learn more about what inspired her. So Julie Pashkis, Pas, Pashkis drew on the folk art traditions of different countries to tell the story visually. She was particularly inspired by the traditional textiles of the cultures, weaving together the various colors and design motifs to create one story. Julie has illustrated many other books, including Through George's Eyes. Now we will go on a hunt through our book to examine the cultural textile patterns included in the illustrations. So we're gonna see what kind of patterns are included. And you have these patterns in your book. You don't need them. You can um, see them on my screen to find similar designs in glass slipper gold sandal. So look at this um, picture here in our book. It's Zimbabwe. What patterns do you see? Do you see any kind of like animal prints? Do you see lines? What pattern do you guys see? Yes, we find that animal print can be found on the Zimbabwe page. 
we see a lion, a bird, a tall giraffe, a crocodile, an alligator in the bottom. So we see animal print. Now, what pattern do you see here in Indonesia? Kind of like similar? Yes, butterfly print can be found in Indonesia. So this is very, very clear. We see it like kind of like a dragon up in the top. We see a fish. What pattern do you see here in Poland? The rooster print can be found in Poland. Yes, just like our textile print up at the top with the green roosters, we can also see them all around the border of Poland in our book. Now next you will learn about how all these designs were created. You will be researching information to answer this question. What did you learn about textile art in Poland? Now we will view videos and read articles that will give you information about the different styles of textiles. So here we go. I'm going to click on these videos. I need you guys to listen and watch. They're applying hot wax. So what are they using to do their textile there? Hot wax. They also apply hot uh, wax with a copper stamp. Look at that. That's a hot preparing dye color, so they're making different colored wax. And they, they remove the wax with boiling water. I mean, super hot. Awesome, right? Now let's watch this one. Okay, well this one's more like reading. Let's watch. Thank you. 
if you guys want to see this again and learn how to do one at your house, just go ahead and... So I don't know if you heard me, but I said if you want to do this at your house, you can always watch this video again and press pause when you get to this part and you can do it step by step. I would like to see um, if some of you guys try it, I would like to see what it turns out to be and what it looks like. So if you guys decide to do something like this, take a picture and send it to me. That'll be awesome. Okay, now it says, what did you learn about the illustrations in Glass Slipper Gold Sandal? Okay, so we, let's go ahead and move on to planning your end of module task. Remember, what score do we want in our end of module task? Get ready. A four, yes. So from a one to four, you need to get a four, which means 100. And the big question that we've been going over from the very beginning of module four is, which of, which of the Cinderella characters do you most admire? Okay. So your end of module task, right now we're going to plan for it. Your end of module task will be on Thursday and you will have all weekend to work on your end of module. So here is what we're going to do. We're going to go over what you need to do in order to plan it. Okay, so go ahead and get out your end of module task 30B. This is in your blue book. Sorry, right there. 30B. Go ahead and get it out. Go ahead and write your name and date on the top of your paper. All right. So here we go. What you're going to do in that end of module task evidence organizer is one, you're going to choose a character because remember the question is which Cinderella do you most admire? We met, we've read about many different Cinderella stories. Here are some of the ones that you could choose from. You can choose from Cinderella, Cindrillion, Ella, Adelita, Pear Blossom, or the Rough Face Girl. So you can choose one character. How many Cinderella characters can you choose? One. Yes, one. Okay. Then you're going to choose a trait. So a trait, remember, it is how is Cinderella in these stories. And in all the stories, these are the ones that they have in common. She's hardworking, honest, caring, nice, grateful, thankful. Go ahead and choose one. Okay. So for example, after you choose your trait, you got to tell me about it. So for example, I chose kind, but I need to tell you why. So the reason is, or the action of kind is, Cinderella was kind. She helped her stepsisters get ready for the ball. That is telling me that she was kind. She helped her stepsisters get ready, right? You don't have to choose kind. You don't have to choose my action. You can choose whatever character you want, whatever trait you want, and then you need to tell me about the trait. If she, if you choose hardworking, excuse me, what did she do that was hardworking? She cleaned the whole house. She went out to, for food. You got to tell me the action, okay? And this is where you're going to plan that, okay? So really quick, I'm going to go over this with you now you are choosing yours okay so here we go let me show you i don't have it just so you can see what we are talking about so you have your end of module task so here is where you're going to put the name of the cinderella you most admire so whatever cinderella character you choose you're gonna write it here. So for example, I choose Ella. So I write Ella, this is an example. You are gonna choose your character, okay? And if you're gonna talk about Ella, you need to start your introduction with Ella. Where, what, where, what Cinderella is Ella from? Bigfoot Cinderella, right? So we could, you are gonna write your introduction here and make sure it you write or give the name of the character.
and uh, I'm sorry and the title of the book so you would write I admire Ella from Bigfoot Cinderella that goes in your introduction okay so your, your sentence starter is I admire blank from blank you tell me the book you tell me the character and the title of the book okay then reasons what trait did you choose I chose kind so I'm gonna put kind action how was she kind well she combed her sister's hairs her sister's hair okay Okay, and now we go on to the opinion conclusion. Let me make, see if I can make this a little bit clearer. Remember, we always tie back our opinion conclusion to our uh, opinion statement. So which Cinderella do you admire most? You chose Ella. You would close it with, that is why I admire... Whatever Cinderella you chose, I chose Ella. Ella, that is why I admire, I admire Ella, period. Okay? So this is just an example. It's a rough draft. Go ahead and finish this with the Cinderella that you most admire, the trait that you best like about her, and give me an action for it, okay? Don't forget to write your opinion conclusion. On Thursday, I will go more in depth and I will give you sentence starters for all of your writing opinion paragraph and a module task. Okay? For today, I only want to see you finish this evidence organizer for a grade so I can give you feedback. So that is your exit ticket, your handout 30B, which is the one that I just did for you as an example. Fill it out and then send it to me as your exit ticket, okay? I'm so excited for this end of module task. I can't wait to see what you guys are gonna, who you guys are gonna write about and all the things that you, ha you guys have learned about an opinion writing paragraph, okay? So I'm so excited. Make sure you guys fill this evidence organizer out. Really think about it and tell me why you're choosing the Cinderella that you choose. All right, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye.